Hey everybody on YouTube, it's Icewalker here and today I'm giving you a fix to um, for the game Mirror's Edge because personally I've experienced a lot of AMD lag spikes in it and I don't know if it's just AMD or if Nvidia people get it too but I've noticed it a lot and I've found a really really simple fix for that and it takes less than about a minute really to get the fix working there's no INTI editing to needs to be done, it's just a simple flick of a button it's sort of like a flick of a button really to fix for the game um first what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a little um a little gameplay of what happens in game so you guys can understand why what the fix does and then what you can see after the fix too um well before i go into that i'm going to tell you what um people have recommended to as this fix but they have not worked for me they may work for you but it's just so you guys know the easiest way is what well. some other people have actually solved this issue um what they've done is they're going to mirror's edge and they've actually disabled the physics which is for nvidia because usually that because nvidia um have that built in actual graphics cards but for people who like me who's amd or other intel um graphics cards um they get to use a cpu and they're using a cpu causes very um very bad lag spikes in your game that's why I've, that's one thing i've noticed so what i do in pretty much any game that uses um physics i disable physics because why am i going to need it because for games like i don't know borderlands games like that i there's no much need of me having that because i don't have a new graphics card so it's pretty much going to be pointless so i recommend you disabling physics in literally any game if you're using any any non nvidia based graphics cards in my case which i'm not i have it disabled already in mirror's edge so i'm going to quickly guys show you a quick little gameplay video of what mirror's edge is like with the lag spikes see you guys in a minute we got you surrounded face get yourself into the storm drain <gasps> So guys, as you saw, there was quite a lot of lag spikes in the game, and this just happens by default. I don't know why Mirror's Edge does this, but I've noticed that it just happens only when you're using Origin, because I know the physics usually was a fix for Steam, but not for Origin. So this really, this really is pretty much for people who have Mirror's Edge like me on Origin. I want a fix for it, and it's, it's a really simple thing, and it does only with Origin, this fix. So I don't think it's pretty much pointless if you're on steam to pretty much watch any more of the video unless you didn't know about the physics then thanks i hope you guys like the video but for people who are for origin um, the easy fix is all you have to do is, is you have to go into origin like as you can see you need to click the information button which is here and you right here you get the product code or stuff like that which is not really important what you need to go, click on is game properties right here and you'll get this window Okay, so it's the command line arguments and the disable origin in game in game for this game you need to click this button this will stop origin from loading up the in-game interface the origin interface which is the actual cause of the lag spikes this lag spikes happens in not just mirrors edge but many many origin based games and so far this has been the only way to fix this if it just disable it here or either going into the options and disable it for all games and it does help it does fix the game it does allow you to stream the game again because i think a few months ago i tried to stream mirror's edge 
and I couldn't because of this little problem I had. I didn't know how to fix it until earlier on yesterday. So I hope you guys, I hope the you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you guys. I hope you guys allowed you to play games again, like Mirror's Edge. For me, I wanted to play. I wanted to finish it again. I couldn't be. I wasn't able to because when I first had it on Xbox 360, I wanted to get on PC because I wanted to use the mouse for it. And now I've got the Xbox 60 adapter for it, so I can use the controller again. But as you saw, I couldn't play it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. At the end of this, I'm going to show you another video of Mirror's Edge with, with the fix now. So you guys can see the frame rate as well. And you can see the fact that there's no more lag spikes in the game. It should be working flawlessly. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Surround it, Faith. Get yourself into the storm drain. Looks like you're in the clear. Now get into those trains.